All right, um, it's night here. We're gonna need a flashlight, so let's craft it. Let me go into tools. Oh, we need an apple and a knife to craft it. It's kinda, it's kinda realistic, I like it. Yeah, that's good. Hello there and welcome. This is a devlog number seven. It's going good here and making some progress, even though it's really hot here in Italy and kinda makes you feel tired sometimes but I'm trying to stay focused and I have something to show you. I implemented some tools, no placeholder this time, <laughs> maybe, but yeah, you will see that later. By the way, I'm in a really important stage of my game development journey because I'm dealing with the procedural generated terrain. Um, I'm in the composition of every floating island. So make sure to subscribe because it's going to be funny. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to inform the, you that I opened a Discord server in which we can talk about my game or even yours, so feel free to join. With that said, let's get into it. Uh, very quickly, in the last devlog, you may have seen a campfire, but I didn't talk about it. Uh, so the aim of it is to warm you whenever you land on a cold island, because you know, there are going to be many different island types with different ecosystems. <gasps> or even warm you during night. I'm, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, so again, very simple model. I love low poly graphics, make things a little bit easier, but you have to pay attention because it could be a mess otherwise. Uh, yeah, some rocks, some wooden sticks, and a little flint. And this is how it's looking in game. Uh, more, more, and more. To the model, I added a particle system which change color over time. And as always, if you want to see it in detail, just drop me a message in the Discord server. We're going to talk about it. Now it's time for the interesting part, the terrain generation. Keep in mind that this is different from island's placement, which is pretty much done. And if you noticed, every time I start the game, we have different environment. Here we're talking more about the island terrain itself. So my idea is to deal with different parts of terrain and not with meshes, vertices and subdivide them into layers. So the second layer is going to go on top of the first one and so on. But the best thing is that this is going to be totally random and this means pretty much an infinite number of different island morphologies. Which is great. Uh, of course, this is just a prototype and at the end of this process is going to, to be more detailed. Um, I want to show you the terrain before and after the generation so you can tell which one is better. I'm going to start with before. Uh, all right. Um, this is before pretty much what you've seen so far. So nothing new. You can see a plain terrain, which is not that bad but maybe it's it's boring and, and flat. It sure needs some improvements. Uh, and that's the after with some more stuff. Uh, here we only have two layers, so not that big changes, but I hope you got the idea. It's going to be interesting to see big islands with a higher number of layers. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we will see very interesting terrain generations. Anyway, I will work on this in the next few days and update you as soon as I can. I'm trying to post regular videos, so subscribe to stay tuned. Right now, I prefer to make short videos more frequent instead of once in a while, like in a month or so. Or if you want longer videos, but still frequent, I can get deeper into things, but I don't know if this is a good idea because sometimes may be boring and decrease the attention of the, the video. So I don't know, you decide and tell me which one works better for you and I will do it. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. That's everything I have to show. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and have an amazing day.